this is William from Visual Components and in this video I'm going to talk about the 3D world, specifically how you can use components to create layouts and run simulations. I'm going to get started by creating a collection for this video. So I'll go to the ECAT tab and I'll click the Collections Expander control here to pop out the Collections pane. I'll click the Source button and select Add Collection from the context menu. This lists a new collection in the Collections pane and let's go ahead and select that collection, right click to rename it. Now you can also notice that I'm not referencing any items in this collection, so I'll go to a smart collection called Items by Type, I'll expand it out, and I'll select Component Templates. I'll now go ahead and drag and drop a conveyor template into the collection, like so, and I'll do the same for a feeder template. So now when I select the example collection, you can notice that I'm now referencing two items. Let's go and minimize the collections pane and I can start building a layout. So I'll right click the feeder template and select open. This will add the component to the 3D world's origin. I could also just double left click. I'll now drag and drop the conveyor template into the 3D world. Okay, now if I want to connect components I need to use the PMP command. You can notice it's already active right now and I have the conveyor selected. And the conveyor has two interfaces, which are indicated by these yellow arrows here. Yellow means that you have an available connection, you can plug something into it. So if I select the feeder now, you can notice that it also has an available interface here. So I'll select the conveyor, and now I'll move the component closer to the feeder. Da -da -da -da. All right, and now we have this little green laser shooting out at each other. Pa -choo, pa -choo. This lets you know that there is an available interface and the components can be connected. So I'll go ahead and move the conveyor closer and closer until they snap together like so. And now the interface has changed from a yellow color to green. This indicates that the components are connected. So now if I zoom out a bit and I go to my simulation player, I can now click the run button to start the simulation. And you can notice that the feeder creates a component and it moves along the conveyor's path. If I stop the simulation, notice that I actually can select the component that is created. This is a dynamic component. It's created during a simulation. So if I was to reset the simulation, like I'll do now, notice that the component disappears. So remember, when you create components during a simulation, they're dynamic, and once you reset, you can't modify or manipulate them anymore. All right, so now that I have my components connected and the simulation works, I want to save the layout. I'll go ahead and go up to the function toolbar and click the save command here. This opens a dialog for saving the layout, and I'm gonna save it in the default location, my models, and the file name of example. Click the save button, and this opens a credits dialog for creating metadata for the layout. So I'll give it a project name of example, and description I'll write, example layout, used in video. And I'm going to go ahead and create a tag for this layout. I'll call it training. Now the difference between a layout and components is a layout references the components that are in it. It doesn't actually contain the components itself. So for example if you're using a remote file then you might want to create a local copy of that component. And what you can do here is you can select include components in the package and this saves the layout and the components that are in it. So I'll go and deselect that because I'm using remote items anyway. Click OK, and now I've saved the layout. So now if I go back to the Collections pane, pop it out, and I go to the My Models collection, hey, there's my layout. I can even filter what's displayed in the collection by going down here to these filters. Let's go ahead and turn off layouts. You can notice there are no more items displayed, but if I turn it back on and turn off components, here's my layout. So if I click the New command, I'll clear the 3D world to open a new layout. And I can now drag and drop the layout just like any other, other item into the 3D world. It's displayed, and I run the simulation. 
Well, that concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us and visit our community at community.visualcomponents.net. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.